This is an engineering test unit of Naval Air System Command's GAO 12U 25mm gun mounted on an AV-8A Harrier aircraft. The engineering test unit, developed by General Electric, is the forerunner of the full-scale development system, which will meet the OPIVAL and production schedule of the AV-8B Harrier aircraft. The GAO 12U Gatling gun and the prototype armor-piercing incendiary projectile, developed in a parallel program, were first fully static tested at the Naval Weapons Center, China Lake, in February and March 1979. These tests showed the impressive accuracy and killing power of the 25mm gun and projectile. In these ground tests, 80% of the projectiles impacted within a 3 mil circle. This was 40% better than the design specification of 5 mils. The armor penetration predictions for these ground tests was 2.1 inches. The prototype armor-piercing incendiary round with a depleted uranium penetrator performed 15% over predictions. Maximum armor penetration was 2.4 inches. With these ground tests successfully completed, the contractor accelerated construction of the engineering test unit for the next phase. Ground and air firings from a Harrier aircraft. The 25 mm gun system is contained in two aerodynamic blisters, similar to the existing configuration of the AV-8A. The gun is in the left blister. The ammunition is stored in the right blister. Following system tests at General Electric's Burlington plant, the engineering test unit was shipped to the Naval Air Test Center at Patuxent River, Maryland. At Patuxent River, the gun system was fitted to the AV-8A Harrier aircraft for the first time. The complete system was fired extensively on the center's aeroballistics range. The integration of gun system and aircraft proceeded smoothly, and no significant problems were encountered. Flight tests were the next step. These flight certification tests proved the system aerodynamically stable. During later flights, target practice rounds were fired to test the dynamics of the integrated system. During initial air-to-surface firings against targets on the water range, no undesirable characteristics were found. 
the system proved compatible with the aircraft. At China Lake, targets were being assembled for the 25 millimeter system's most challenging test. A test of the gun's effectiveness against medium armor. These medium armor targets, American M47 tanks, and a Soviet T-62 tank, were postulated to represent the upper limit of the wide target spectrum against which the 25 millimeter gun system provides a reasonable probability of kill. The medium tanks were placed 3,000 feet from the open fire markers and 2,000 feet from the ceasefire markers. These medium tank targets represented armor thicknesses from 1.8 to 6 inches. For some of the tests, the tanks were fully combat equipped with ammunition, fuel, and a plywood crew. As in the 1979 test, the rounds were newly developed 25 millimeter armor piercing incendiary rounds with a depleted uranium kinetic energy penetrator. On four days, five separate flights and 22 firing runs were flown against the tank targets. During these anti-armor effectiveness tests, the gun system reached the 15,000 rounds fired mark with no in-flight stoppages. Only one stoppage occurred during all testing, this during ground tests. Reliability of the GAO-12U was over three times the mean time between failure expected for this engineering test unit. Firing one second and half second bursts, the system proved extremely accurate. During the flight on December 10th, 31% of the 260 rounds fired were hits on target. In the total of 22 passes against the tanks, 20% of the 1,248 rounds fired were target hits. The average open fire slant range was 3,440 feet. 80% of the projectiles fired in flight impacted within a 5 mil circle. The 5 mil circle is 2 mil smaller than the design specification of 7 mils. In these tests, the planned strafing tactics conform to a proposed anti-armor profile utilizing a five-degree dive at 500 knots with an open fire slant range of 3,000 feet and a ceasefire slant range of 2,000 feet. The actual open fire and ceasefire slant ranges exceeded those planned by an average of 400 to 600 feet causing some decrease in effectiveness. The damage assessment team found several perforations in the armor of the medium tanks. Projectiles had penetrated turrets,
the side of the hulls and engine compartments. Maximum armor penetration was 2.7 inches. Penetration consistently exceeded the predicted penetration curve. One round penetrating the T-62 turret passed through the tank's ready ammunition storage area. Another round destroyed the radio in an M-47 turret. Rounds which entered the engine compartment of the T-62 passed through the plane of the high-speed cooling fan, penetrated the core of the radiator, and damaged the oil cooler. The final drive hub assembly of an M-47 was hit and perforated, resulting in the loss of lubricant and probable gear damage. Another round penetrated the side of an M-47 near the fuel tank and would have destroyed the auxiliary power unit had it been in place. In another M47, a round impacted between the hull and the turret, preventing traversing of the turret. The barrel of an M47 was holed twice. Additional damage was done to tracks, road wheels, and suspension systems. <laughs> <laughs>